Here's nickel, nickel, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. What if you counted it all? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That 100 is the same as saying $1. So when I get to 100, I'm going to set this aside in a group by itself. Okay, let's start again. Here's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, I'm out of dimes, so I'm going to have to switch over. Now I'm at 80, so I'll go 85, 90, 95, 100. That's another dollar. So I'm going to move my dollars over and keep them in piles. Going back to my big money here, here, the big pile. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, 45. You have to start counting by ones now. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. 64 cents in this pile. It has the most coins, but it's not worth as much as these are. So we have $1, $2, $2.64. You might be able to show this to your child, perhaps on a piece of this paper. This is $2. And I'm going to put my decimal point here to separate my dollars from my cents, 64. Two dollars, this is the dollar part, and this is the cent. So it's two dollars and sixty four cents. That's what your child has counted out. So you can go from the actual money to the numbers that represent. Lots and lots of different ways that you can use your washed money.